What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope everyone have an amazing day. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jai. Welcome back to um, Wancy Entertainment. I have not reacted to Wancy Entertainment in like, I don't know, it's been a while. But we are back and this is two true horror stories animated. Intruder, 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 Intruder and Halloween. Halloween is in July, August, in four months, so we might as well get into the groove, so sit back, relax, let's watch. Oh. Intruder hid in my dad's boat. Okay. This took place in the summer of 2017 in the small town of Alexandria Bay, New York. My parents own a small vacation house there, and we usually go down for a few weeks during the summer break. Okay, cool. It's your typical Saturday night. My parents were out partying with friends, and I was chilling out playing video games. I heard a noise from the docking area outside where my dad keeps his yacht. Uh -oh. My initial thought was that my parents had come back early. It was around midnight, and that would have been pretty early for my parents since they usually come back around 3 in the morning. I just continued playing my game and paid no attention to the fact that someone could have been trying to steal my dad's boat. In fact, I forgot about it entirely. Around 2 in the morning I exited the house to have a smoke and I saw that the doors to the yacht's main cabin were open, and there was no lights on inside. Ooh, I grabbed um... a flashlight and boarded the yacht. I didn't turn on any lights, because if there was someone on my father's yacht, I wanted the element of surprise. Now I considered the fact that my mom and dad were doing something that I absolutely did not want to see under any circumstances. What was that? But I didn't see their car anywhere outside. Uh-oh. So I came to the there. conclusion that there was someone on my dad's boat who wasn't supposed to be there. I heard footsteps down in the lower levels where the sleeping quarters were. At this point, I'm fired up, and I'm ready to teach some asshole a lesson about intruding on Shoot. someone else's teach property. Him. Teach him. I hid behind the wall that separated the cabin area from the kitchen, and peered out just enough to see what was going on. Soon after, I saw the silhouette of a man emerge from the stairwell at the opposite end of the room. Now, I had turned off my flashlight, and the only source of light was the moonlight coming through the long window that rimmed around the cabin. Point being is that it was fairly dark, but my eyes had adjusted. I saw the shadow move in front of the long window. Ooh, ooh, it was ooh. a slim figure. Get now, you a knife. Ooh, okay. 250 pounds, okay. Built like a linebacker. I thought I would be able to take this guy on easy. Okay. I came from around the corner and yelled, Hey, fucker! No words, on sight. My shoulder. On sight. I was expecting to knock this guy on his ass, but something strange happened. Now again, it was pretty dark, so I can only speculate. Yeah. But the intruder somehow was able to jump up and grab onto something hanging from the ceiling. What the? Fuck? my charge entirely, causing me to hit the wall pretty hard. I flipped onto my back to see the intruder coming towards me with something in his hands. He was seconds away from hitting me or possibly oh. stabbing me, so I had to think fast. I raised my right leg and landed there we go. to the There we go. The intruder grunted and okay. backwards, okay. dropping whatever he was holding. Get him a chokehold. As soon as I stood back up, Get him in a I saw the figure dart out of the open doors. A loud splash followed shortly after. The intruder had disappeared into the water below. When I turned on the lights, really? there was a serrated knife laying on the floor of the cabin. It I called like the a police turkey and knife. came out and investigated, but aside from the knife, they found no traces of the intruder anywhere. I gave my statement and filed the report. My folks came Ooh. home at a record-breaking 6 a.m., and I decided that I would fill them in on what happened when they woke up. They were in no shape to process this information when they came home, if you know what I mean. Oh God! Please take care to make sure that everything is locked up tight before you go to bed. Yeah. You never know when some lunatic may be out looking for a place to crash or to steal something. Yes, yeah, and especially and where you live. Mind that some don't mind confrontation. That's a fact. Especially where you live. It's a nightmare at the pump. This upcoming Halloween will be my 40th birthday. And even after nearly 25 years, the terrifying memory of that night has never faded. You see, I lost my virginity in a pumpkin patch on Halloween. Ooh. I know, cliche. 
Specifically, I lost it in the bed of a pickup truck while it was parked in the pumpkin patch. To give you an idea, the patch was maybe 80 by 100 feet and fenced off by wire mesh to prevent cows from getting in. My house was just across the street from the pumpkin patch. We shared a bottle of wine, awkwardly talked for a while, and then got to business. Ooh. My family had hey, two border collies. And as let me positions, the dogs wandered in and started barking at us. Well, those dogs knew what's up. Trying to cock block. My date and I paused and drunkenly, playfully, began throwing scraps of food out into the pumpkins for them to chase. After a couple of minutes of that, we continued where we left off. After we were done, we sat there in the truck and looked up at the stars, while the dogs wandered around sniffing random things. Mm. After a short while, I saw my father return home, pulling into the driveway across the street. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. The dogs bounded out of the patch towards him, and me and my date quickly began to dress ourselves. Once oh, shit, we were oh, fully shit. clothed, we just sat on the tailgate and kept talking as we watched my dad pet the dogs and go into the house. It was about then that we heard it. Lurking. A rustling sound coming from the patch somewhere Ooh, behind us. We both paused and turned. At this point, there was only moonlight to illuminate our surroundings, but it was enough. And this is exactly what we saw. A single pumpkin began to rise up out of the patch. But now that someone was lifting it, it was kind of sideways. Oh. Like it had been resting on its side and was now sitting up. Yeah, right. For a split second, I thought someone was rising this pumpkin out of the patch on a stick or a metal bar. But then the stick changed position. It coiled like a snake and then shot straight up. Yeah, right. Like a man would be if he went from a squatting position to a standing position. I then saw two spindly legs with knee joints oh. protruding from the thing. Oh but my no gosh. arms. There was a buzzing in my ear. And all of a sudden, my date screamed. Mm. We both jumped off the truck and booked it out of the patch and sprinted towards my house. I glanced back once, and I'll swear on whatever you want me to swear on. A tall, skeletal figure was leaning over the truck where we had both been sitting. And I caught a glimpse yeah, of two big red eyes staring well, this back is scary, at me. Though. We made it to my garage and forced our way through the kitchen door. I began screaming at my dad to get his gun. It wasn't until I saw the blood on the kitchen floor that I realized that my nose had been bleeding. Mm -hmm. Even more alarming, my date's nose was gushing blood as well. I told my dad that there was someone in the pumpkin patch, and he grabbed his gun and power walked out of the house, the dogs following closely behind him. But they stopped halfway there, refusing to come any closer to the pumpkin patch. When my dad returned, he was livid. He wanted to know what had damaged the fence and broke the tailgate off my truck, which technically was his truck. I could only shiver in confusion what? and abject terror. He reported that something had knocked the tailgate right off the truck and then tore out of the patch from inside and destroyed a huge section of fence. I didn't sleep at all that night. I cowered in terror in the living room, with all the lights on. This the day the police came and examined the scene. The wire fence had been torn out of the ground and dragged a short distance away. My father and the police were convinced that it was a trespasser pulling a Halloween prank. But I never believed that for a moment. I tried to explain that the dogs had been pounding through the patch minutes before the thing had appeared and neither of them had made a sound to alert us that there was a trespasser nearby. Furthermore, the entry gate to the patch made plenty of noise whenever the wind rattled it. Mm. So if someone climbed over it, it would make even more noise. And we had been sitting right by the gate. Another thing that terrified me is the shape of the thing as it stood. Even if it was a trespasser with an elaborate costume, none of that would even begin to explain the tailgate, the destroyed fence, the nose bleeds, and our dogs being too nervous to approach the patch, or the eyes I had caught a glimpse of. My wow. father went to his grave believing that we had been vandalized by trespassers. My date and I concluded later that whatever it was, it hadn't been a human or an animal. So no one really takes me seriously. 
but I've heard that skinwalkers can take the form of anything that best suits their well, I heard of skinwalkers. Our property wasn't anywhere near a Native American reservation, uh, but I can't think of anything else it could have been. So what do you think it was? Okay, yeah, I don't know too much about skinwalkers. I don't know that they transform, and if you look at them, they kill you, something like that. I don't know, but it's just too much. It, I don't know. It's just so scary in the intro to her. Um, yeah. Who knows? So tell me guys you think about this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have the most awesome, positive day. Be sure to chat, um, follow me on my social media, my Instagram, my TikTok. And peace.